We start this hour in Florida where people are now in recovery mode days after Hurricane Milton ravaged that state. Down trees are blocking roads while power companies and fuel suppliers are working to get electricity and gas stations back up and running. And let's not forget this was just two weeks after Hurricane Helene made its way over Florida. In all, at least 266 people died in both Milton and Helene across six states. At least 400,000 Floridians and 16,000 people in North Carolina are still in the dark. That's according to utility tracker poweroutage.us. President Biden also announcing that more than $600 million are coming to help in recovery efforts. CBS News correspondent Tom Hansen reports on the aftermath from Treasure Island that's just eight miles west of St. Petersburg. Hey there, good to be with you. Well, driving around this area, it feels like in a snowstorm when there are the snow banks, but then you realize that this is all thick sand and debris. And I want to take you around here because you can see that this pile of sand, which is one of many piles of sand around this community that stretches all up to the house. I want to give you a little bit of context here uh, when we're talking about just the size and the scale of these sand piles. So I'm going to get up here really quick and show you I'm standing here and this sand pile is still taller than I am. This is an enormous task for people to dig out of. Now, this is the aftermath of not one, but two major hurricanes. First came Hurricane Helene. That brought in the storm surge and pushed all of this sand from the beach and the sand dunes all the way into these communities. And then as recovery efforts began for that, debris piles started collecting, Hurricane Milton struck and people had to pause all recovery efforts for a number of days for that storm to pass. Milton was much more of a wind storm in this area with rain and wind as the focus. But this is the scene that stretches for block after block after block. And basically house after house, it depends on how hard the house was hit, what the conditions are. So some of these houses have big red X's on them because they are just completely condemned. The owners say that they are not going to return. Other homes, however, people are going to start rebuilding. But really, you're talking about the one two punch here. Undeniably, just Milton alone, tens of billions of dollars worth of property damage. And in fact, FEMA over the weekend reported that on Saturday, 250,000 Floridians at least applied for federal aid. That is the most ever in one single day. So people are in desperate need of help. We talked to one woman who says that she is left breathless, speechless from the scene here. It was her first time seeing it yesterday. And so people here definitely in a dire situation. This is going to be the case for the weeks to come as they rebuild their homes. Back to you.